What's up guys, welcome back to Tori's World. We are gonna do an update on this uh, murder mystery, missing persons case, Brian uh, Laundry and um, Gabby Petito. Uh, also, possible connection with Crystal Turner, Kylan Schulte, and Jordan Boone. I do have some updates as far as information that I've learned in the last 24 hours since my last upload. Um, what do we know that's new that we didn't know before? We do know that uh, Brian had an uh, assault weapon, or not an assault weapon, had a gun on him. Um, he, um, there are reports that he had a 380 Taurus. 380 Taurus handgun, uh, which was seen in a photo with Gabby Petito, uh, kind of like this, she's holding it. Um, and then there's bullet holes, supposedly at the, um, on some wood that was by the crime scene of or not the crime scene, but the discovery of the Gabby Petito remains uh, near uh, Spread Creek in the Grand Tetons. So we do know that that's one thing that we've established that um, Brian was armed. Um, so my theory that does coincide with my theory that. Uh, he may have been trying to conceal a uh, handgun in the uh, van during his police stop on 812 uh, and maybe in connection with maybe the same uh, murder weapon used with the deaths of Crystal and Kylan um, with an unknown on Jordan. But we do know that Crystal and Kylan were shot. We do know that they were at Woody's Tavern. There are reports that they were at Woody's Tavern um, with a, uh, and that, that they ran into Brian that night uh, on Friday, August 13th. Um, so what, um, we also know that he, um, that there was a, uh, an uploader, uh, an older guy, uh, who uploaded something. This is on, um, a, a YouTuber, like I see, I see something, um, Jam J Jamal or something. Um, but he's been doing some uh, good reports, but he posted this guy who had posted, an older gentleman, posted a TikTok from, uh, I guess he was at a bar outside of uh, Jackson, Wyoming, I think is where, where he was. Um, and he was at a bar with a friend of his, and they were talking about... Um, I guess guns, needing guns, um, I guess like liberals and cities and stuff like that. Um, and I guess somebody piped up and said uh, something along the lines of that he hated um, these Republicans and Southerners who uh, were all about their guns and stuff. Uh, at this bar at around 11 at night um, in Jackson, Wyoming on um, I believe it was like August 28th or, um, and then <clears throat> uh, I guess the woman that this man this gentleman who was posting said that she was uh, very freaked out about the situation um, and about the comments 
Um, the guy said his name was Brian, and he's from New York. Um, and so we also know that um, on the 17th of August, um, that Brian um, flew back to Florida to empty out or do something with a storage unit with his dad. Now, um, was he switching out guns? Was he hiding a gun? Um, what he was doing at that, on that trip back, it's unknown. Um, why he went there on the 17th is unknown. Came back on the 23rd, I believe, uh, to Salt Lake City or something. Um, and that's where he met up with Gabby and they drove from there to the Grand Tetons. Um, and so what we do know is we do know that, the, that he did have a gun. Um, we know that that is something that was almost if they did have one, then it would be almost definitely in the car. And almost definitely something that he wouldn't want anybody to stumble upon, especially during um, just like a domestic dispute thing um, where their attention really isn't on a gun. Um, and so his aversion to going into that passenger side door or to going anywhere near that passenger side makes more sense um, knowing that he did have a 380 Taurus. Um, we also, um, let me see what else. We also know that, um, that there were bullet holes discovered uh, at Gabby's death. Um, so whether those are going to be the 380, it's unknown. If you do have any information about the weapon that was used for the Crystal Turner and uh, Kylan Schulte case or murders, um, please comment below uh, with a link uh, on any information that you've seen on uh, the autopsy. Uh, that is any different any more than what what is already known um, we do know that those two were found in the creek um, with their pants off and at least one of them had their shirt pulled up um, and their breasts were exposed um, so we know that um, we know that there was um, probably an attempt to wash away DNA. It's what some speculation is. Th that would be my speculation. Um, my theory is that um, there are reports that Brian also had um, kind of he was like uh, jealous, didn't really want her talking to anybody, Gabby that is. And so I guess they're forced that he tried to take her license so she couldn't go anywhere. Um, also with the police officers, we know that he did try to drive off um, maybe with her phone. So, um, you know, what, the story is with that uh, we still are uncovering but we do know that um, Brian wasn't had definitely a shadow side to him that was not known to uh, at least to the parents of G Gabby um, and he Obviously, was at uh, this. He was at the bar in the Jackson Hole, um, 
you know, the Gabby said during the traffic stop that they didn't drink, but that doesn't appear to be true because there are reports that he was, all, that either he or they were both at Woody's Tavern in Moab the same night as Crystal Turner and um, Kylan Schulte. So they were less than truthful with the police on that front. They were less than truthful with the police on how long they had been out there. So um, I think they, they were, um, I think there's a lot more to the story and I think that there's a high possibility that Brian could be involved in more than just one missing person and that we possibly have uh, like a national park serial killer on our hands. Please comment below what you think. Uh, if you uh, have any information or links um, that have uh, the autopsy or the murder weapon used in the Schulte Turner case, please comment below. Um, yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, hopefully, they find Brian here soon. Maybe he'll pop up uh, in my backyard. I don't know. But nothing so far. Um, yep. Uh, let's hope, it, hope we find something here soon. Uh, other than more dead bodies. Let's hope we get this guy uh, dead so we can get the whole story. I mean, get this guy alive so we can get the whole story. All right. Peace.